Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our 100 baby challenge. So last episode we finally decided who the next matriarch was going to be. Lily finally aged up so she is now an elder. Yes, she is now an elder <laughs> and Cassia is our new matriarch so we need to work towards making her human because I don't want to have a vampire matriarch. You can but you forfeit that bonus you get when you have a vampire baby and I love those bonuses <laughs> so we're gonna um, have Lily get her skills up so she can make her the vampirism cure whatever it's called so yeah that's what we're gonna get up to in this episode I hope you guys are excited let's get into it I have another rem remune today one of those ball drinks this is the strawberry flavor and it's by far my favorite it's so good mmm Okay, you guys, here we are back in the house. So I've got some good news. I redid the house. I was getting really tired of the other one. And now I kind of feel like we've got the hang of it. So I think that we can have a proper house now, not just some nasty, nasty kitchen with a bunch of beds and potties everywhere. <laughs> no, this one's an actual house. So I'm very excited to show you. So this is the outside. I actually found it on the gallery. I wish I could remember where, but I updated the house a while ago. Oh, that needs a rooftop. Where does it? No, it's the balcony. Hmm. We'll do something about that later. But I um, got this house off the gallery, but I did change some things just because I, I changed them to tailor our needs. So yeah, here's a little house tour for you guys. I hope you're excited. I know I am. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. It's actually really nice and really clean. We've got our computer station here. We've got a chess table. Um, here's the living area. It's pretty simple, but I like it a lot. Here's our little ch child chair. I love that little childhood touches everywhere. Our easel. Through here we have a bathroom. Through here we have another bathroom. <laughs> And then through here we have the bedroom for the oh for the children and the teens. I actually like it. I think it looks pretty dang good for it just being beds. It kind of looks like um like if you go to camp or something and you live in like a cabin. I get those vibes. And then through here we have the master bedroom and the toddler bedroom. I kind of just combine them because why not? Um, we got three toddler beds, two which are occupied. Look at these little sleeping angels. They look so similar. Weird. <laughs> All right. Yep. That's that bedroom. And then through here we have the kitchen. We've got the little display case, as always. We got a new fridge. Um, I pretty much kept the kitchen the same. And look at look at this. Look how cute this is. Aww, aww, aww. <laughs> I love him so much. I'm gonna be so sad when he moves out. And uh, there's one more room that I wanted to show you. Let's go out in the backyard, actually. We actually have a backyard, guys. How crazy is that? With a deck and everything. Wow. Okay, so through this cute little door right here, we have the play area. I like to have a playroom. It's very dark and dingy. It looks exactly like our old house, which I'm not really a fan of. I kind of want to put a rug in here. And uh, music, a focused painting. Um, yeah, that's it. We have our basketball hoop out here for our children and teens to dream big. Dream big, y'all! And that's that, that's the house. All right, let's get into some gameplay, shall we? So, little recap. We've got Lily, who's an elder. We've got Hazel, Dexter, who's a spellcaster, his sister, Daisy. We've got Cassia, who's the next matriarch. She's a vampire. We've got Jonas. I forgot to give him a makeover. We need to do that. Jonas, Grayson, and Ace. Are Grayson and Ace vampires? Who are their dads? Oh, their dads are Cliff, so yeah, they probably are vampires. Wait, is Cliff even a vampire? It doesn't say that he is. 
Mm, I honestly can't remember. <laughs> first things first, let's give Jonas his makeover. I am pre-filming all of my videos right now. I have a really long, long, long day ahead of me. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. He's really cute. Oh, he's so adorable. Look at his big, beautiful eyes. Okay. I'm obsessed already. I like the long hair on you. So he had... What hair did he have as a child again? Oh yeah, he had braids. I don't think I have that hair for children. Should we give him this one? <gasps> uh, I wish it didn't have the light tips. Otherwise, I'd say yes, let's go for it. And then these braids, I am not feeling. So we're gonna have to go with something else. Should we give him this hair? We haven't given any of our kids in this let's play this hair and I love this hair, it's my favorite. It looks pretty good on him, so I think we'll just go with that. All right, Jonas, there you go. Nice and simple. You know who he reminds me of? Gene from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> That's his name, right? Gene, the little brother. All right, back in the house. So let's see what we need to work on. I think we can probably move Hazel out now. I mean, there's really no point because we kind of have to wait for Cassia to age up. She's a B student, so she just needs to go to school and get that uh, grade up. I think I'm gonna buy her a school project. You actually have one in your inventory. You don't. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and buy you some project. There we go. All right, love, how's your mood? It's actually pretty good, so I'm gonna get you up. Start working carefully on that project to guarantee, ooh, Daisy got social level 10. That's insanely fast. Proud of you. What are you doing? Play arcade game? Are you still in high school? Wow, Jonas is now mental level 10. These kids, they get their skills up real fast. Um, so he's in a high school A student. He's almost responsible, so we could technically age him up too. Maybe we should. Um, what about you? Oh, you're an A student as well. Why haven't we aged you up yet? Okay, we need to do that. <laughs> I'm like so behind. Um, let's see, Lily. Actually, let's see if there's a cake in here. There's three of them. Wow, okay, great. <laughs> Daisy, come and make a wish, please. Happy birthday, my other little spellcaster bean. This is Dexter's sister. But she got an A way later than he did, so that's why she's just now aging up. Happy birthday! Okay, she's an animal whisperer and socially gifted. I like it. Let's randomize her aspiration. She got... <laughs> Angling Ace. That is so random, but maybe, or actually it's not because she's an animal whisperer. Maybe she really likes uh, fish. I mean, it's possible. It's very possible. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. Girl, no, don't take a selfie yet. You're not ready for that. <laughs> Hold on, does anyone else need to age up while I'm here? Um, he does, but he's not gonna need a makeover. Okay, so we can hop into create a sim then. I don't know what eyes she got, but <laughs> yeah, that's a no for me. She definitely has her dad's face. What eyes are these? It's n okay. I'm really confused. So I don't even know what color eyes she has. I guess we can just pick one then? Or what color were they before? What color are Dexter's? Brown. Were her eyes brown? Why do I feel like they were pink? Okay, we'll give her those ones. And then, let's see, wow. She's pretty stunning. Like she has really striking features which I really like. All right, guys, look at her so far. I am obsessed. <laughs> she is so 
gorgeous. Like, I could never make a sim this pretty on my own. All right, we gotta find the absolute, oh my God, we're asleep. Oh, that changes everything. Did you see that? That just changed everything. <laughs> Back to business. Let's just randomize and see what looks good on her. That doesn't look bad. Ooh. I like the ponytail a lot. This was her hair before, but I don't think it does her justice anymore. I think there are so many other hairs that look good on her. Okay guys, this is what I came up with with for Daisy. I just spent so much time making her that my brain is all scrambled now. But I kind of kept going with the brown with the white hair and I thought this hairstyle was perfect and it looked really good with the hat. She is one of the most stunning Sims I've ever seen for sure. And this is her outfit. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with both of these Sims. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a series with them. Because I would definitely not mind filming one. <laughs> I forgot to give you your sleep outfit. <laughs> All right. All better now. Okie dokie then. What's next? She's still working on her project. What about you, Bean? You're a B student. You've got your schedule level four. You've done your homework. Do you have a project in your inventory? Nope. <laughs> I swear there's like nothing to do in this house anymore. Aww. How sweet. How oh, ho 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 ho. Lily's feeling attractive. Wow. How many more days you got? Not many. Not many at all. Maybe we should spend your satisfaction points on... On what? Are we allowed to have the money tree in this... Uh, challenge, I wonder? Maybe we should just use them all on these so that she can leave them something behind instead of like getting her a trait when she's gonna die soon that's kind of a waste isn't it yeah let's just get a bunch of moodlet solvers let's get a happy potion why not <laughs> okay cool uh what should we do with them i don't want the sims to have them so let's just put them in Ooh, cassie is now mental level 10 Let's put them in Cassie's inventory, so she's going to be the new matriarch. And then we can, um, wow, look at all these seeds. Jeez, I guess we can give these to Cassie as well. She's got two of these. Let's open them both. Sell the rubber ducky. Oh, in case you guys were wondering where we got the money for the house, it pretty much uh, broke even. Um, with Lily's, like, painting, and then I sold all the stuff from the mailbox. I sold... And I kept mostly everything too. And the house was pretty dang cheap. So yeah, that's how we got the money for the house. Is this supposed to be Groot? It's called Gronk. Oh no, it's a caveman. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Who's calling Dexter? Parker? What's up, my brother? How's it going, dude? Assist. I heard you're not too good at haggling. Why don't you let me take you to the flea market? This is daddy. Oh my gosh, he's an elder now. <gasps> he's gonna die soon. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys as well. Um, when I was, I played this a little bit off camera just to skill build a little bit and I maxed her vampire lore skill. I swear that is the easiest skill to max. <laughs> it truly is. So we need to buy a bar. All she has to do is read those vampire books, and that's it. Super simple. All right, right there is fine, and it matches the house. Let's see if she can make it. Make drink. Make drink. Two wool spain, two garlic, and two plasma fruits. Oh no, this right here. Ten garlic, ten wool spain, and ten plasma fruits. Um. Okay. Can she order any of those on the computer? Vampire Secrets. Okay. We can purchase plasma fruit seeds and wolfsbane seeds. Okay. Open seed packet. 
Okay, yeah, it just gives us plasma fruits. And how many did we need again? 10, 10, and 10, okay. So if we got four plasma fruits from two seed packets, we need three more? There we go, okay. Now we need wolfsbane, okay. And garlic? Ah, here we go, purchase garlic seeds. It's almost at least time make the most of these final days. Okay, well we really gotta make get her to make this drink then. Um, let's see, make drink. Where'd it go? There it is! Oh my god, we can make it. Make that! Come on. But wait, don't we have to wait until she ages up or do we? Because she's not technically a vampire right now. So we have to wait. Until she's a teen, but Lily, you can still make the drink. Oh my god, look at you, making the ultimate vampire cure. Does her mixology skill need to be high? That looks like a pretty basic drink to me. Looks rather disgusting, actually. Normal. 10 hours until spoiled. Uh, will it last if it's in the fridge, I wonder? Let's just put it right here. Three days, okay. Hopefully no one grabs it. <laughs> that would suck, absolutely. What are you uncomfortable from? Headache from life. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I actually think I want to uh, age up homeboy here before his grades drop or his responsibility drops. Oh, he just needs a little bit more responsibility. So come over here and brush your teeth. There you go. All right, come make a wish. A student, responsible, you're good. You are good. I can't wait to see your last trait. Hmm. Ah. ah! Happy birthday! Again. <laughs> Alright, so he is a great kisser. He's an animal whisperer and a gym rat. I don't like that. I want... Alright, let's do one more redo. And if we don't like the redo, then we'll do Gym Rat. Long lived. Long lives. Long live lets Sims live longer lives, bearing any accidents. Sure. I think that's pretty spellcaster-y. And good. You look exactly the same. <laughs> Happy freaking birthday, dude! You are now a young adult. Time to decide your life. Where's my pen? Side Dexter's life. Whoa, 23,567? That is insane. Okay, let's see what he got. Um, bank savings, amazing. We already know that. Uh, bonus trait, bad cook. That sucks. Uh, fisherman? Okay. This is so strange. Him and his twin sister both have the animal whisperer trait. She got angling ace as her aspiration and he got fisherman at his as his job. Should their lives be surrounded by magic and fish? I wonder. That's very interesting. And he got average learning skill. Okay, well, when we move him out, I know to subtract $23,567. Did we decide Hazel's life yet? We didn't, maybe we should. All right, girl, let's do it. Life decider, decide. 865, oof, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. 
Okay, bank savings bad, obviously. Bonus trait, slow metabolism. Skill learning, good. What's her career choice? Astronaut. Very interesting. I turned on auto age for uh, played sims, so our older children are gonna start dying. Which is gonna be very sad, but it's realistic. At least they're on the gallery, so I can like use them in a different game if I want. What's this? We'd love to have you join at Dive Club. What the heck is Dive Club? No thanks. I'm an old woman now. Speaking of that, you should probably come and sell your paintings and paint more just so you leave your children with a, with a good amount of money. So let's get you to keep painting. Oh, and we need to be working on the toddler skills as well. I totally forgot. Oh, this bean just needs potty. Well, that's pretty good. Is there a potty in this house? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Ask for potty help. Ask Dexter. Ooh, ooh, Lily painted a masterpiece. I've seen this painting so many times. It's not a masterpiece to me anymore. I'm sorry. What the heck are you doing out here? Can you stop? Come and sell this. Oh my god. No way. Really? She's an elder. Can you not abduct elder? That's just... That's just rude. What's that about? Hi, Leah. What are you doing here? She wasn't pregnant before, by the way. Her household is full, so she she's not allowed to get pregnant. <laughs> I can't believe Lily got abducted. Shoot. Oh, she's back! You good? She seems fine. Like, nothing happened? Okay. Oh, nope, she's got a ne negative mood lit. It's fine. What are you doing? What are your skills? Okay, you need thinking, so why don't you do sim shape on there? It's Grayson's birthday. Dang it, we almost did it. It's also Ace's birthday. Yeah, they almost got their skills up, but nah. Wait, when is their birthday? It's today. Okay. We need another cake. Who's willing to bake us a cake? How about you? <laughs> you don't have a high cooking skill, but it's fine. Dexter, what are you doing? What do you think? Oh, you're going to take a piece. Okay, that's fine. I thought you were going to bake one. I was like, wow, good for you. Oh my gosh, Cassia just shooed her little brother. That is so sad. She really is evil. <clears throat> you guys said that I should get the trait re-roller or whatever um, to get rid of that trait. Which, I mean... Catch dangerously, avoid endangered fish. All right, help blow out candles. Um, let's do Grayson. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Top-notch toddler. Okay, and your aspirations gonna be. Social butterfly! Cool. Alright. Um, help blow out candles, ace. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, his aspiration is gonna be whiz kid. Hey, why aren't you aged up? Alright, everybody. Make sure you're studying hard. Get them A's. Don't forget to do your skincare. Thanks, Lacey. Appreciate the reminder. All right. A Scott Wiz Kid aspiration with a untalented personality. How sad is that? So these are Cliff's kids. Cliff is a pretty good looking dude. So let's see how his kids turned out, shall we? 
Ooh. Okay, you've got tiny little eyes. Which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, okay. He is a vampire. Cliff is a vampire. Okay, okay. I thought so. All right, dope. Here's Grayson. Let's move on to Ace. That's such a cute outfit. I love it. Cool. I thought his kids were real weird looking, but after a makeover, it seems like after a makeover, just it just it just does wonders. There's there's only certain kids that even makeovers can't save them. Like Parker, Jackson, um who was that other one? Oh shoot, I can't remember his name. He had the pointy ears. Oh crap, I can't remember. He had the pointy ears and the short hair. Congrats on your recent birthday. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Really appreciate that. <laughs> My songs are just getting worse and worse. Lily, why don't you um, ever listen to me? It makes me really angry. Wake up! Good, good, good. There we go. Hazel needs to provide tough feedback to a coworker. How should she give the notes? Wow, on her first day? Mm, straight and honest. Great. A medium performance gain. That's what I like to see. Hello, bike person. Let's sell all these toys. Definitely don't need them. Yo. It's fine. Life's not that hard, lady. <laughs> You're good. <gasps> Did someone drink the vampire cure? Oh, thank god. Hey, no more cake. Stop with that. What is this? A pass out party? No. Caleb has been out here for ages. Can you please go? Hey, there's Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Let's see if Cassia is going to get an A today. Oh my god, is she really not? Come on. You've got three more hours. Get it up there. You're focused, so that should do you good. Come on, get there. It's not gonna get there. <laughs> oh my God, the suspense is killing me. 20 seconds left. Oh my God, it's not. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you were almost there. Looks like everyone has returned with the school project as well. Yes, yes, off to bed you go, but just sleep for reals, don't nap. What's up with you? Don't do that, don't do that. If you had an annoying school day, just, just come have a nap. And you are very tense. Okay, uh, why don't you come and play a game? All right, just one more day, one more day, one more day. Oh, Hazel got promoted, good for you, girl. Sell to collector, 1,214. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, that hurts so bad. All right, I'm just having Cassia do another project to guarantee that she will get an A tomorrow. Even though it's probably not necessary, it's good for her responsibility. Judge Jonas, jeer, fight, beg forgiveness. Oh my gosh. She's being mean to him, isn't she? They just keep insulting each other. Can you just like talk about school or something nice? I wonder what kind of personality Cassia got. Let's find out. The Mastermind! Imaginative and strategic thinkers with a plan for everything. Popular hobbies include reading, cultural events, taking classes, appreciating art, computers, video games, independent sports. What's going on? Why did I... Oh no! Uh-oh. They got in a fight? Did I miss that? Um, it doesn't look like they're fighting, but they just despise each other? That's your twin brother! That's really sad. Oh my god, they're just going off. Can you guys just focus on your projects? 
All right, it looks like everyone is off to school. Time to get up, time to get up. Work hard, study hard, I mean. <laughs> Come on, go, 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 off to school, off to school you go. Goodbye, study hard. I can't believe Caleb is still out here. He's been out here this whole, this whole episode. Go home, go. Can we even ask him to leave? Is he technically here? All right, how's it going over here? Okay, it looks like you're going to get an A. <sighs> okay, so we can age her up today. We need a cake, and tomorrow's Winterfest, and I'm a little bit stressed out because you keep passing out instead of just sleeping in a bed. Aww. Lily Potter's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. Definitely is a long life, I'll give you that. Cook some more food so that we have stuff to eat. How about pan fried tilapia? Then let's make, let's make something at the bottom. Roast tuna casserole. <laughs> sure, I don't think I've ever had tuna casserole. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But it's a very um, family meal, you know what I mean? All right, grades are up. Jonas is an A student. Cassia, yes! It is time. It is freaking time. Hey, where'd that cake go? Where did that go? Did I accidentally put it in your inventory? I did, okay. All right, come on child. Come make a wish. Happy birthday to the new matriarch. Okay, she is evil and a melt master. I'm re-rolling. Dude! That's a joke, right? Oh, I wanted a trait that would affect her personality and not just make her good at making grilled cheeses and this is what I get. All right, her aspiration, public enemy. I am not joking. Look, public enemy. This is the worst possible combination for a sim, especially one where you have to get guys to like you in order to have babies. I'm so mad. Are we allowed to choose whatever we want for our mate? No, we're not. Oh. Oh my god, I'm pissed off. I am so pissed off right now. How are we gonna do this challenge? How? I am definitely gonna re-roll. Definitely. At least she's beautiful. She has a really small head though. It's like super small. So there is a slight issue. I don't have the hair for her, for adults that I had for when she was a toddler and a ch uh, child. So we have to pick a new hair. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna take me forever. Okay, I have something similar, but it's not exactly the same. I kind of like it, but I wish it had more definition and like more detail. She's so tiny too. I mean, look at her body type. It's like, She's like stick skinny. Not for long, my darling. You're gonna drink that vampire cure as soon as I'm done here. 
All right, you guys, this is what I came up with for Cassia. I'm definitely going to give her more outfits later, but for now, this is her vibe. Um, I'm going to give her a necklace, actually. Her chest is looking kind of bare. What about a bandana? Aww. No, we'll just go with that one. All right, meet the new matriarch, everybody. Cassia Potter, an evil, hot-headed vampire who uh, aspires to be hated by many and wants to be a criminal. Lovely. All right, let's get her to drink this vampire cure very quick. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, oh. Oh, it's like the same animation as when they become vampires. Leah's like, what in God's name? All right. Did we get a notification about anything? Cassie Potter has left the undead life behind and is no longer a vampire. We did it. We did it. Look, she even has a bruise on her stomach. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, who else can we age up? No. Adver oh my god, I stopped her just in time. We can age up Jonas as well. So, come on over. Make a wish. Can we age up anyone else? You, you, my darling, you need to get your skills up. So, cooking? Okay, no. Just come and dream big. I hear you have been bu building your magical prowess. Would you like to put it to the test and duel me? No, dad. <laughs> We literally have no magical talent whatsoever, so I don't know where you heard that from. Okay, Jonas. He is a quick learner and a writer. These sims make amazing writers. Okay. And your aspiration? What would you like to be? What do you want to do? Spellcraft and sorcery? I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna keep him a vampire. Oh, thanks, Leah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Don't go. <laughs> Did anyone else become A students yet? C student? C student. Okay. All right. So we'll wrap up this episode by giving Jonas his quick, 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 quick and snappy makeover. He has um, Harry and Theodore's lips. I'm noticing that right off the bat. I've really been liking using different eyes. I've been using the noodle eyes for so long, it feels good to do something else. Let's just go with those. Okay, let's find you a hair then. Actually, is that the skin detail that you want? <laughs> I just automatically use that one without even looking at any other ones. That looks good. Okay, let's find you a hair. Hey, that hair didn't look too bad. And now that I think about it, this hair didn't look too horrible either. I don't normally like this hair on my male sims and I never use it just because it's so funky. But since he's a vampire, I kind of feel like it fits. Do you guys agree or do you disagree? If you guys hate the hair, I'll change it. But for now, I'm gonna leave it. Cause it's something different. <laughs> All right, this is what I chose for him. He was kind of hard to dress, not gonna lie. Uh, he's not super terrible looking, so yeah. This is his dark form. He just like completely changes uh, skin tone, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, you guys, I think we can finally move out Hazel. I don't want to move out Dexter yet because Daisy's still here. So I think we're gonna wait to do that. I'm just getting Daisy to dream big to get her fitness up, to get her skill up so she can get an A. And yeah, that's that. That's this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is our new matriarch in case you needed another <laughs> refresher. I actually love her. I'm really, really, really excited to see what her kids are gonna look like. She's absolutely beautiful. I'm just, I'm just shook about her traits. How do you get the trait re-roller thing again? Is that in here? 5,000 aspiration points. Oh my gosh, that means she needs to do like a bunch of her mean interactions. 
Oh gosh, okay. Well, I definitely got my work cut out for me, don't I? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one.